How come no one has done Whitey Bulger? He seems to be involved in every crime in the city, and yet the Bureau keeps saying he's clean. It's only when another agency has an informant that I hear maybe Whitey isn't so squeaky clean. Well, he that he's very careful. He doesn't use phones, that kind of stuff. And uh, who did you say these other informants were? I didn't. Listen, from what I hear, his criminal days are all but over. His his partner and him, they gone legit. Christ, Carly, is Whitey never using phones and careful, or is Whitey retired? I don't. I mean, I just I'm not in my office. It, these are things that I hear. I don't know if all of them are true. Do your job and find out. How's your brother? How is Jimmy? Jimmy's Jimmy. You know, why do you ask? Well, it's no secret this house he's been in war zone lately. Why, well, it was 60, 70 slayings. But your brother and his winter hell boys, they're still out there. They're, they must be doing something right. Jimmy's business is Jimmy's business. It sure as hell ain't none of mine. I got an edict to eradicate the mafia. And I know that Jimmy and Stephen Fleming are muscling in on their numbers records and their venom machines. And I know that this ain't sitting very well with Angelo. Don't want to hear this. We need to hear this, Billy. Your brother is wading into some very dark waters. We all need friends. Even Jimmy, even you. Nobody gets out on their own, ain't that right, son? You know what, John? Good to see you doing so well. Really, it is. Give my regards to the boys at the plaza. Listen, you don't want to give that to Jimmy, fine, but just, just tell him I said, hello, and I'm back. Oh, if Jimmy wants to get in touch, he'll find you, trust me. You got two minutes. All right, I'm gonna come right to it. I, I have it on very good authority that Gennaro and Julo is planning to have you murdered. Is that so? And how does he plan to achieve that? That's the kind of information that my side gets. And that's the kind of information that we can provide. John, do you know what I do to rats? It ain't ratting, Jimmy. It's an alliance. An alliance between me and the FBI? No, no, between you and me. I can help you, Jimmy, and you can help me. I'm not trying to clean up Southie. I love this place. I'm interested in the North End. I'm interested in the Mafia, and I bet you are too. It's two minutes. It might help to recall that Whitey Bulger is an ex-convict. Yeah. And that his parole category is supervised release status, a designation that we would be required to get withdrawn or else we would be in violation of bureau regulations. So we withdraw or we violate. What we don't do unless we're clinically insane is Bulger's chance. And by the way, it's, it's Jimmy, not Whitey. And what makes you so sure? that he's gonna be a reliable source. Jimmy, his brother Billy, and me. And that is a bond that doesn't get broken. I mean, if he gives me his word, he will keep it. So we're relying on the word of criminals. Come on, guys. If we're serious about bringing down the Italians, Jimmy is the only way. Just trust me. What do you think, Morris? I think that uh, we have more to gain than to lose on this. I think we go with John. I think we bring Whitey, uh, Jimmy, into the tent. Brian, take the bag. I want you to have it. Yeah, I want you to have it. To do the hit on, on, on the wheel? No. That's $20,000. For you to not do the hit. I'm okay. <laughs> Take the money, keep your mouth shut about what you just heard. It's best you're not involved. Take the money. Take the money. Take the money. Okay. 
Um, so I should go now? Yeah, you should go now. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And Morris, what did you marinate this steak in? Because it's out of this world. You're killing me with it. No, no, no. It's a family secret. Oh. Come on. You got to tell me that. Come on. You could do it. Come on. <laughs> What's the family secret recipe? It's, gr it's ground garlic and a little bit of soy. That's it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. I thought it was a family secret. <laughs> it's a recipe. No. No. You said to me, this is a family secret, and you gave it up to me. Boom. Don't look to John, because he's not going to help you. You spill the secret family recipe today, Maybe you spill about me tomorrow. Is that something? Maybe that's a possibility. Listen, I was just saying. You were just saying. Just saying gets people sent to Allenwood. Just saying. Could get you buried real quick. We can't touch them because they're no longer criminals. They're professional criminal consultants. But my question to you is, have they actually given us one concrete thing that we can move on? Just give me a break. After the desert you've been walking through, this is your ticket to the big time. All you can do is... Listen to me, John. We have given Bulger miles and miles of leeway, and so far he's given us dick in return. I need a wire inside Angelo's headquarters. They've been moving around so much, I need to know specifically where his headquarters even are. And the fact that we don't makes us look like a bunch of Keystone cops. I need evidence that I can present to the federal prosecutor. And you'll get it. You got two weeks. And then I pull a plug. Is that a new suit? It's flashy, you know? Those lapels, that tapering. So you got a nice new gold watch there, too. What are you getting at, Marianne? Not getting at anything. Marianne? Mm -hmm. You're dressing differently. You're walking differently. You're getting manicured. Uh, I'm walking differently. Yeah, I think you are. Your head and your shoulders, the way you carry yourself, you're changing, John. I might be getting older, but, but I'm not changing. It's Jimmy Bulger that's changing you. Ah, here we go. Ever since you locked arms with that guy, you've changed. I can see it like a nose on my face. He's bad news, John. It's not bad news. He is an informant. It's my job. You know this. I've told you this. I've known him since forever. And you certainly hold your boyhood heroes in high regard. Jimmy this, Jimmy that. He was very good to me when I was little, Marion. That's all you need to know. How was he good to you, John? Did he take your trick-or-treating? I know. It's kid stuff. To you, maybe. I'm, I'm gonna go for a drive. Like it or not, Marianne, you married a street kid, and, and the streets taught me that you give and you get loyalty from your friends. And loyalty means a lot to me.